Ukrainian military repels 170 Russian assaults across five fronts, civilian infrastructure targeted in missile strikes. Ukraine under siege, Russian forces launch relentless assaults on strategic city, Bakhmut. Breaking news, Russian missile destroys apartment building in Ukraine, killing three and injuring six. U.S. Secretary of State's bold move calls on Russia to end starvation in developing world by renewing Ukrainian grain deal. Enjoy watching and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on important news. Ukraine's defense forces repel over 170 Russian attacks in one day. On March 1st, the Ukrainian military successfully repulsed more than 170 assaults by Russian forces on five different fronts. According to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook, this information is accurate as of 6 o'clock on March 2nd. The enemy has concentrated their efforts on the Kupiansk, Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdiivka, and Shakhtarsk fronts. In the past 24 hours, Ukrainian defense forces have successfully fended off over 170 attacks on those fronts. Russian occupying forces targeted civilian infrastructure in Kharkiv, Poltava, and Donetsk oblasts with 14 missile strikes. As a result, there have been civilian casualties and several multi-story buildings and private homes have been damaged. Additionally, 21 airstrikes and two attacks with Shahid-136 drones were launched, but all the attack drones were successfully shot down. Enemy forces carried out 58 attacks utilizing multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS. The threat of Russian missile strikes across Ukraine remains high. The general staff confirmed that Russian forces are still setting up positions and installing anti-tank barriers near the Ukrainian border in Belgorod Oblast, Russia. Situation critical, Ukraine clings to Bakhmut as Russians advance. On Thursday morning, Ukrainian troops held their positions in the eastern city of Bakhmut, which has been in ruins for over six months amid relentless attacks from Russian forces. The Russians are determined to claim their first major victory in the area in more than half a year. According to the Ukraine military general staff, the capture of Bakhmut would enable Russia to gain complete control over the Donbass industrial region, which is strategically located near the Russian border. This region was one of the primary targets of Russia's invasion on February 24th last year. In their regular morning report on the situation across the front lines, the general staff stated that the enemy is still advancing towards Bakhmut and is currently assaulting the city. Ukrainian military general staff provided a morning update stating that Russian troops were attacking Bakhmut and other Donetsk settlements. Ukrainian forces were resisting these assaults. Russia has claimed that capturing Bakhmut would allow them to gain complete control over the Donbass industrial region, one of the main objectives of their invasion in February 2022. Although Bakhmut has limited strategic value, Ukraine has put up fierce resistance to the Russian advance. President Volodymyr Zelensky has stated that Ukrainian forces are keeping each sector of the front under control. However, not all Ukrainians are convinced that defending Bakhmut indefinitely is worthwhile. Ukrainian Member of Parliament Serhii Rachmanin stated on NV Radio that sooner or later, we will probably have to leave Bakhmut. There is no sense in holding it at any cost. Nevertheless, Bakhmut will be defended with the aim of inflicting as many Russian losses as possible and not allowing any lines of defense to collapse. The battle for Bakhmut began seven months ago, and in recent weeks Russian forces have made advances from three sides. The only way out for defenders is to the west. Despite this, thousands of civilians remain in the ruined city. Military analyst Ola Zhidanov believes that there is a critical danger that the garrison in Bakhmut will be encircled. Russian forces are attempting to cut off the supply routes for Ukrainian troops in Bakhmut and prevent all movement. However, Zhidanov thinks that the Russians cannot take the city through head-on attacks. Instead, they are applying colossal pressure with constant waves of attacks and using reinforcements to try and force Ukrainian troops to abandon positions. 
Russian missile hits apartment building in southeastern Ukraine. According to police, a Russian missile hit a five-story apartment building in a city in the southeast of Ukraine, killing three people and injuring six others. President Volodymyr Zelensky reported that the strike destroyed several floors of the building and the attack took place during the night. The state emergency service stated online that it had saved 11 people thus far. Zaporizhia was a large city with a population of over 700,000 prior to Russia's invasion of its neighboring country a little over a year ago. It is the administrative center of the partially occupied Zaporizhia region, which is home to Europe's biggest nuclear power plant. For months, Ukrainian-controlled territories in the south and east of the country have been relentlessly attacked by Russian artillery, missiles, and drones. Although Moscow denies targeting civilians, its indiscriminate shelling has caused extensive destruction in urban areas. During the winter months, the conflict mostly ground to a slow stalemate. However, President Zelensky stated that Russia aims to inflict terror upon Ukrainian citizens every day, yet he remains confident that evil will not prevail on their land. In the meantime, an intense battle rages on for control of Bakhmut, a crucial eastern stronghold where Ukrainian officials are considering a strategic withdrawal. According to the Ukraine military general staff, the Russian forces are persisting in their advance and siege of Bakhmut, but Ukrainian forces have successfully resisted some of their attacks. On Thursday morning, one individual was reportedly wounded in Bakhmut, as reported by the Donetsk regional governor, Pavlo Kirilenko. In addition to Bakhmut, other cities and towns in the Donetsk region also experienced shelling by Russian forces, according to the update provided by the general staff. Seizing Bakhmut could be a significant gain for the Russian forces, who have faced setbacks for months. It could also lead to the disruption of Ukraine's supply routes and enable the Russian forces to move towards other Ukrainian strongholds in Donetsk. Blinken at G20 demands Russia extends Ukraine grain deal. During a group of 20 meeting attended by Russia, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called on Moscow to renew a deal allowing exports of Ukrainian grain. Blinken stated that Russia has deliberately slowed down its pace of inspections, leading to a backlog of ships that could be delivering food. The Black Sea Grain Initiative, brokered by the UN with Turkey, has helped reduce food prices and contributed to hunger in the developing world. The deal is set to expire this month, but it was renewed in November. UN humanitarian chief Martin Griffiths has warned of difficulties in securing another extension before it expires on March 18th. Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 has held up ships from the major breadbasket, with Moscow voicing concern over Ukrainian naval action. Under last year's deal, Russia was promised the right to export fertilizer free of Western sanctions, which Moscow insists is not being respected. Blinken says he will refuse to see Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov individually, believing Moscow is not serious about diplomacy to end the war.